and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks uh, so first of all wishing you all a very very happy new year and may you all achieve your goals in 2025 and please wish me happy new year in the comments as well so now let's without wasting any time let's see the today's problem which is print anagrams together okay all right now what uh, let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So basically, we will be given one array ARR of string type of a string type. Okay, and we, we see the constraints. So this array ARR can be of max length as 100 and the strings, the strings which will be inside this, this array ARR can have max length of 10. Okay, all right. And now what we have to do, let's find out. So basically, first of all, we have to know, we should know what are anagrams okay so anagrams are basically those words which are made from same characters but the characters are rearranged okay but characters are rearranged in different orders and uh, like oh, characters can be rearranged in different orders but characters will be same okay what i'm saying let's see uh, with a good example a c t and c a t so we can see ki both of these are made of the same characters a c t but they are arranged in different order like a c t then if i will arrange it in different permutation it will be c a t okay isn't it so these both are anagrams because they are made of same characters another anagram is t a c okay another anagram is t a c so these three are made of same characters similarly we can see g o d and d o g they are made of the same characters so these two are also anagram okay all right and i think that what anagram basically means will be clear now let's see what we have to do in this problem we have to basically we group the anagrams and then return the group return the group of anagrams okay so if we will see this array here a c t a c t c a t and t a c are uh, one anagram are same anagrams okay and uh, g o d and d o g are the another same anagrams okay all right so um, what we have to do we have to basically return a array list of a list of list list of list so basically one parent list and inside that list uh, there will be grouped anagrams list okay so in like say in first list we will return a c t c a t and t a c okay and in another list we will simply return g o d and t o g okay and if there are any more anagrams we will return it in another list so basically how many anagrams are there those many lists will be there and they will be simply uh, returned in one parent list okay so i hope that will also be clear what we are going to do and uh, how we are going to return as well now let's see how we can do this how we can do this look it's very very important key basically look how can we check if two characters of are of the same uh, let's say are if two words if two words are made of the same characters how we can say ki if two words are made of same characters if the characters of both uh, the words both the strings are same so basically if i make separate arrays of length 26 if i make separate arrays of length 26 and fill it with the, the characters which are there uh, like a c t so let's say zero index will be filled and then after that b will be zero uh, then after that c will be one and after that something like t it will be one as well so this is uh, let's say a c t is filled in the 26 length array and after that similarly i will fill g o d i will fill c a t and then we have to check again and again okay but it will be a very very time taking process so how we can achieve this uh, in a better way look let's say a c t is one string and if I will sort this string. I will sort this string. It will become what? A C T. Okay. All right. On sorting this, it will become A C T. Similarly, let's say C A T. C A T is another string. And on sorting it, on sorting it, it will also become A C T. On sorting it, it will also become C A T. Similarly, T A C. T A C. So basically, I will this is a string. I will convert it into a character array. A string will be converted to a character array, and that character array will be sorted and then again made the string. So C A T. It will be first of all made into a array with the uh, characters. Each character it will become T A C. Okay, all right. And after that, I will sort it. So it will become A C T. Okay, A C T characters, and then we will convert this string array into character array into string so it will also become a c t okay all right so yeah these are the anagrams and we can group them how we can group them is very very easy as i told ki 
uh, first of all sort this arrays sort these strings and uh, convert this into array convert these strings into array and then sort the arrays and then again so, uh, make this array into a string so it will become act okay and similarly uh, god i will first of all sort it so again this will become d g o okay and if i will sort dog as well so uh, it will also become d g o okay so both of these are also anagram so how we can group them look i have got the key with which we can group them how uh, this is the key this is basically the key so now what approach i am going to take uh, let me tell you that as well look first of all what i will do i will make a map of let's say one sorted uh, word sorted word will be the key and uh, the values will be an array list values will be an array list okay all right and uh, in this way like act will be there so on sorting also it will become act only so and i will add uh, this act to a array list okay let me write it again so first of all let's see one by one i get this act on sorting it it will also become act so my map is currently empty my map is currently empty so the sorted word sorted word basically means uh, in that in that word characters are sorted okay so act is not present i will add act and add this act with the empty array list and add this current string current string act in this as well okay all right something like this very very simple and after that after that the second uh, word which i get is d o g g o d g o d okay on sorting it it will become something like d g o this is a new sorted word now i will check if this word is present in map no okay so make a key of it with d g o and add this current word current word is what current word is what g o d god so add this to our uh, array list of map and after that again i get cat so on sorting this cat i will get the sorted word as what act okay i will check if this act is present in map yes it is present so simply simply add act is already present so in that value look act is the key and its value will be a array list in that array list simply add the current list word that is cat so cat will also be added okay all right after that again what i got dog so on sorting word it will become dgo so simply dg is also already present so simply add the current word dog into that uh, array list so it will be added dog will also be added okay all right again i get tac so tac on sorting it will again become act isn't this i hope this point is very very clear and i'm also taking a lot of time in explaining so it should be clear act is already present so in the values of this act key simply add the current string that is tac okay so tac is also added now you can see ki we have already grouped the anagrams we have already grouped the anagrams the values of this map are the anagrams and we have to simply return it so i will convert this map into map values into one array list and return it isn't this cool isn't this correct so yeah look you can i have already got this array list and now i will simply convert this map values to one array list and return that array list i hope it will be very very clear to you the approach and all by and also when i will write the code of it it will become crystal clear to you but before that i want to ask you for something i have made a linkedin post about my chrome extension so uh, that link will be in the pinned comment go to linkedin go to linkedin and show some love on that uh, post uh, share your feedbacks and uh, like it and share it with your friends okay repost it so it will i will be really motivated if you will do this and thanks all if you all are doing that and now let's move on to the code section then so first of all what i do what i will do simply let's make one array list answer okay answer array list which we have to return answer is equal to new array list guys i have already broken down this problem into many many small steps so i hope uh, it will be very very clear to you now look i what i told which data structure we are going to use map okay so map and its key will be what of type string and that string will be what sorted word sorted word i hope sorted word what is this mean clear and after that this string will be having a values of all the uh, words made of that sorted word okay so list of let's say string types okay and because there can be more more than one string of same uh, characters so we will be using a list here and let's name it as mp is equal to new hash map 
very very simple it is now let's simply iterate over all the given strings let's say s is the string and i will use the for each loop for arr okay now what i told first step will be to convert this string s to the character array okay so i will simply char ch is equal to s dot to char array and guys uh, this code i will be like i'm writing it in java but uh, i will be uploading c++ code as well in my github link will be in the description so please uh, go to github and you can check out that code as well okay all right so now s string is converted to character array and now what i told i will solve this character array okay so that i can uh, i got my key arrays dot salt of ch okay character array is salted now what i told look first of all god it is an string it will be converted to the character array and then it will be salted and then again i will convert this is to a string okay to get my key to get my key i hope this point is also clear so let's say a string uh, salted salt word let's say salt word okay is equal to a string dot value of uh, this ch salted array okay all right now look i have to check if this is already present in map or not because if it is present i will add this current string s to that map otherwise i have to make a new entry i hope this point is also clear so if not mp dot contains key contains key what uh, sort word if it is does not contain i have to create it so simply do mp dot put sort word okay and a new list as new value value empty new array list so simply do new array list very very simple to this point and now a entry is created if it was not there and we simply have to add my current string s to that entry okay so what i will do mp dot get salt word dot add my current string that is s okay all right and after coming out of this for loop here what i will do i will simply return a new array list and this array list will be of map values so mp dot values okay in c++ there will be other things to write here and i think you guys can write it if you know the code if you know the approach okay so all the mp dot values will be the anagram groups i will simply convert it into a parent array list and return it so we don't need that answer array list as well okay all right let's try to compile this and check if it is running or not and once again i'm wishing you all a very very happy new year and uh, yeah show some love to that comment section of my linkedin post I close this let me check this again subscribe the channel if you have loved the explanation and i will be uploading i am uploading daily videos so you should subscribe and check this out i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye